It is tragedies like this why I say that you have to make sure that people are really your friend. The girl in the middle is Shanquilla Robinson, and her friends not only let her get intoxicated, but they beat her to death, recorded it while she was naked, and posted it on social media for people to rewatch. And after they did all this to this poor girl, they all hopped on a flight and left her to be in Mexico by herself. This is like disgraceful behavior. For someone to be friends with this girl for five years, no matter what, right? When you know someone for five years, you have some type of empathy and at least a little bit of love that you're around this person for five years that you would not not only kill them, but record them naked, post on social media, and then leave them in another country by themselves when y'all came together. It really just shows the morality and empathy of our generation, how crazy this stuff really is. The people who are there literally, oh my God, I'm getting so emotional. The people that were there said that she had alcohol poisoning, but then when the coroner did the report, they end up finding out that she had a broken neck and a ripped spinal cord. How ruthless do you have to be to someone that you call your friend to leave them naked and hurt on the floor, not get the medical help, and then leave? My friend just told me that she was not even there for 24 hours before she died, so it's looking like this was definitely planned. And there needs to be a serious investigation justice needs to be served and i don't care if the other four people did not lay a hand on her they recorded her while she was naked without her consent they also told her to get up and fight which means they egged it on and three if you're her friend why would you not break it up like be so for real i hope she gets justice and so does her family and if you're one of her friends trying to defend yourself on tiktok i hope the court system is just as ruthless to you as you guys were to her